While continuing our Oscars coverage, speculating who will be handed the Academy Award. It's happening this weekend. <laughs> That's why we're sitting down with our our movie buff, Vinny Pez. Great to have you with us. Buff you, is right. You, it's you've accurate. seen every movie, yep. right? Yes. Oh, it's every year, nominated. too. Yeah. You know, when I was a, a kid, I used to put my Oscar picks, wow. this is going to sound pathetic, on the refrigerator. No. It was like in the eighth grade, and I would write them. I remember my father would look at them and go, eh, all right. But I was always doing my picks. Okay, who, is, uh, who are your picks? Let's go through know, what, the best mean, yeah. actor first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, best actor, I think, uh, this year will be. There's a possible upset, but it's probably going to be Joaquin Phoenix, okay. who's been giving very interesting acceptance speeches. Mm -hmm. uh, but there could be an upset there because uh, some of his speeches recently have been taking down the Academy. They might want to lash out at him and give. Uh, I think Adam Driver, a potential upset there for Marriage Story, yeah. which you should watch on I, Netflix. I just recently saw it. And yes. now you never want to get married. <laughs> right? I mean, it, it, it's a very it's not your typical love powerful story. film. That's for powerful sure. Powerful film, and he was great in it. Great, His yeah. breakdown scene in the apartment was mm -hmm. just some of the best acting I've ever seen. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's go with Best Director. Yes. That's best, a big one. That's a tough one, actually, yeah. because I would say Mendez for 1917, mm -hmm. but Tarantino's got a shot finally uh, yes. for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That one is probably the toughest category to pick. I agree with that. Now, mm. I am a little disappointed with Little Women. I love that movie. The director, though, was not nominated. She was not. Uh, I think there's a possible upset there, but in the supporting actress category, I think Florence Pugh, I told you this in the hallway yes. last week, uh, because unlike Gil, you talked to me in the hallway. <laughs> and uh, I think she could upset Laura Dern for that because she was fantastic as Amy in Little Women. And Little Women deserves a little love at the Oscars. I it agree. Does. It, it was entertaining. Even my husband, who usually sleeps through these types of movies, was yes. very entertained. He watched the entire thing. Yeah. And Very you, well done. Yeah, this is a great movie. Yeah. If you had not I seen have, that, I have not that's seen it. Must. Yet. Absolutely. Now she's up against Laura Dern, though, who was fantastic in Marriage yes, Story, absolutely. and she's been cleaning up award season. But the Oscars likes to throw a curveball. They don't want to be a carbon copy of the Golden Globes mm -hmm. or the SAG Awards, so they like to give us one curveball. And, and I think? think it could be Pew, okay. or it could be Joaquin Phoenix talking too much junk. During his acceptance speech, and Adam speeches. Driver gets it. And Adam Driver gets it. Now, what is it that a lot of people usually don't understand? Is it how sometimes the best director doesn't win the best picture? Yeah. So yeah. Wh why do you think that is? I mean, that's a trend. Yeah, it, it is. I, well, I, th I think they do go out of their way to share the love. Okay. Um, which is why I think Little Women will get it. And Gerwig, the director, yes. she'll get screenplay there, original. Well, then again, she's up against Tarantino. Well, Ooh. she'll have adaptation. Okay. See, and that's how they share the love. Yeah. Because there's best screenplay adaptation, and then just best screenplay well, original. You know your stuff. Absolutely. You do. Oh. Right, let's oh. talk about Brad Pitt. Yes. If he wins, I can't wait because I want to hear his acceptance speech. He well, has been entertaining everybody, uh, even when he wasn't, fantastic. At, he wasn't at BAFTA, the yeah. one in, in London, yeah. where he actually won the... Um, yeah. Oscar, right? Uh, is this an Oscar, uh, the British Oscar? Uh, well, he's been winning every everything yeah. he's anyway, been nominated for. So he for. actually had a very funny line there. Even though he wasn't yeah. there, he they read his acceptance speech. So yeah. I can't wait to see oh. what he's going to say. Did you see the film? Did you I, see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I haven't. His Cliff Booth. So Quentin Tarantino's done nine movies. He's got one more to go. Wow. His tenth. I think it should be all. It should be the Ballad of Cliff Booth. It should be really? Pitt's character who is lovable in this movie. I, I have to say, I've heard Fanta only great steals things. Steals his show. And you don't steal a show that Leonardo DiCaprio's in. Mm. You don't steal that yeah, that easily. Yeah, that's very true. And he did. Okay. Yeah, so he's a shoe-in. I would say Brad Pitt is, is the shoe-in. I don't as think far a lot of people win. would be upset with Brad Pitt. And of course, <laughs> Zellweger is definitely oh, a shoe-in, too. Okay, she, that movie was awesome. She was Judy. She yeah, is Judy. I, I thought so, too. It, weren't you a little skeptical, too? We haven't seen much of her lately. At all. And you're thinking, her singing and dancing? It's like she became her. It was a little eerie at times. However, she did, uh, she did star in Chicago. She, did, she was not. Did she win or not? I know she was enough? nominated. Uh, right? She's an Oscar winner yeah. for Cold Mountain, Cold Mountain, but she was up there for Chicago, exactly. too. Exactly. You she know was yourself phenomenal. too, Jocelyn. Love her. Yeah, yeah, you're a buff too. She'll, she's am. going to walk away with it. And I wondered for a moment if she might not, in the face of these last few years, yeah. Oscars too wide and, and a lot of complaints and women being left out. She was just too good as Judy Garland for it to be ignored. It was so believable. You just kind of can't ignore it. Yeah. So she's a shoe in too, I'd say. Well, thank you so much for Thanks for having me, ladies. Coming here today and giving us all of your insight and uh, predictions. Yeah, well, and they're on my fridge at home too. Okay.
okay. I'll put it on Insta later. We'll, we'll see you at the movies. Yes, yes, at the movies. <laughs> Be sure to tune in to News 8 this Sunday night for the Oscars. Live coverage from the red carpet starts at 6.30 right after News 8 at 6. Then the big show starts at 8. Stick around after the awards for News 8 at 11. We'll be right back.